Wrestling Battles. We are at the Anarchy Tournament in Manchester on the King of the Dot Twitch stream. I just want to say shout out to everyone that is locked in. It's the third event we've had and it's been an absolute success. So big up everyone, including King of the Dot. Make sure you do click subscribe. That being said, on the right hand side, Rapper, let them know you are, bro. There's all bomb. Shout out Premier Battles every time. Let's go. <laughs> and on the left hand side, from Leeds, former Premier Battles champion, let them know you are, bro. Matter. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Full and effective. Three round battle, quarter finals. One of these advance on to go and battle Aker in the semi final. I've got it, but let's go with it. That's <laughs> 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 You look like you put a donk on everything. <laughs> which has led to several restraining orders. <laughs> which also explains your restrained performance. Classic bit of matter observation for you. Mate, your face is gormless. But it's not his fault. In Preston, they got that tainted water. That's why their brains are smaller and the kids are born with the same disorder. It's true. A bunch of Preston kids got bored of their lives and started pumping DMT up in the water supply. It didn't do much. Everyone was already high. But the, but the next generation was born without eyes. And, the, gener and the, genera the generation after that was all into grime. That goatee makes you look like a steward on British Airlines. No. You look like you operate and maintain fair rides. No, 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 no. You look like you manage your bookies and deny the Holocaust in your spare time. No, wait, no. It's DJ Bizzold's mobile disco. <laughs> the most affordable round. Playing the greatest hits of the 80s, 90s, noughties and now. No, no, wait. No. <laughs> Seriously, though, that goatee is killing the vibe. And by killing, I mean lifting it to almost spiritual highs. That goatee makes me want to put my fucking fist in the sky. That goatee's the only thing keeping hip-hop alive! <laughs> oh, so just jokes, yeah? Brilliant, I'm sick of this shite. Jokes are for the simpler mind. He wants a lyrical fight. <laughs> and anyone that isn't inclined to listen to and dissect intricate lines isn't even worth a tiny little bit of his time. Your eyes have a real sadness to him. <laughs> That's why they always look down. You got the look of a dog with dysentery begging to get put down, but don't worry, pal. Don't worry. One day, humanity will evolve to recognize your genius. Till then, you'll have to continue to get described as tedious. Time. <laughs> yo, yo. I used to pray that one day I'd be the face of this league, but relying on God would have led to me tasting defeat. It's sweet science how this match shaped up. Will make you all take an atheist state of belief when it becomes blatant to see how today matter will be the real making of me. I know everything he's about to say. A thousand ways to make all these rounds still sound the same. And it's a horror show, opening scene, about to see this clown again. And to some it might just float your boat, but against me, kid, it all goes down the drain. Cause they say sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. And yet a good performance from you can't happen if you don't perform with it. See, he'll stray away from the truth and what's picture perfect happily and over-exaggerate his lines just to fit his verse and pattern scheme. Twisting versions drastically, fits and spurts of fantasy. One angle turns me to a different person rapidly like Instaverse reality. Yet you're here because River's poor flow left the door open wide and you still couldn't even manage to get four volts on your side. They can't remember one hard bar you spat. Bro, they recite more quotes of mine. Cause if it was literal, when we say all jokes aside, then your hopes would die. I'm different, bro. And I won't rap matters way it's corny. When your material always seems to fall apart when it's made of these fabricated stories. I remember when Luna told Bloodstro he had an imagination barrier. And if that ever happened to you, it would assassinate your character. So go ahead and spit your garbage. Every line irrelevant. So this for me is a win regardless. A pessimist on paddy power. I bet that he won't hit the target. So unless you find the former 2012, way back when this kid was sharpest, the tangent that you go on next will be a trip you wish you never started. Sam, Biz. Let's go. Stop the world off. Now you said some shit against Milky that made me ruminate. When you asked him how many comedy lovers he let through the gates. Comedy lovers, eh? Alright. You lost, boy. What's wrong? Did I stutter? What's the matter with you, boy? You some kind of Comedy lover. <laughs> Where would battle rap be without Bizzle to hold the anchor? 
protecting it from the twin evils of jokes and banter. <laughs> Bizzo, guarding the gates of battle, wrapped with his mighty presence, armed with a wide selection of rhyming weapons, invaders everywhere, heightened tensions, provide protection for the art form, retain the finer essence. Prime objective, keep these fucking comedy lovers outside the fences. <laughs> Border guard Bizzo, federal agent, stalking the crowds at battle rap events with stealth and patience, checking faces for the slightest sign of joy or entertainment. <laughs> Offenders get dragged backstage for interrogation. It's Bizzo Bond, head of the battle rap bar Gestapo. We will eradicate all your hardy hard jokes. <laughs> Bizzo alone decides who qualifies for battle rap. And it's certainly not these lot who muck about and have a laugh. Because <laughs> laughter's for pups, pal. Bars are for proper men. Females on the scene, not impressed. Battle rap should be a sausage fest. <laughs> a safe space where lads can passionately critique Bobby Rex. <laughs> away from the... Away from the judgement and scorn of family, job and friends. Cos... cos jokes are gay! <laughs> he got a joke in his cracker once on Christmas Day and kicked his nan in the face in a fit of rage. <laughs> Cos jokes are gay! <laughs> he wrote a poem for a girl once, pure emotion scribbled on a page, and delivered it aggressively two inches from her face, <laughs> and considered it a day time. <laughs> 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 See, it's been a while since the good old days when you used to run mad innings, and now it's always a debatable if we ever see this scumbag winning. You reach the battle rap heights of Tiger Woods, I bet you loved that, innit? And now look, a car crash, and we don't ever know if he'll come back swinging. You're only motivated to battle because you've been, when you're in a pair or being led. I mean, you've been doing this a decade, bro. No wonder you've always needed specs. When every week a different league swapping in between the lens, it's clear to see his vision's being depleted. So I'm here to make you see it best. Because whoever's been prescribing you must be the same optician Stevie gets. When for years the writing's been on the wall and you still can't even read it yet. You're part of a team in such high demand, but with you there's never been no orders. They're making music and touring the globe and your career just seems so cornered. He's like Marcelo Bielsa, and not just because because he's so awkward, but you can only manage to take a seat and watch Leeds go forward. How can you not feel embarrassed when you off tilt the balance and lack the chemistry needed with these cards to be an icon like a squad building challenge? Or oh, you think, because you're part of this massive team, that makes you a final boss? What? Because we see leads everywhere, you've got your wires crossed. Uh, the rest of them have all moved on, left him behind and closed the door. You've done this years longer than P has, and will he come back? I wouldn't be so sure. But don't you see the message here? You really need to focus more. How do you let a soldier walk away from battles and leave the veteran behind to still go to war, bro? The funniest thing you've ever said on the low is when someone farted before your round began and you were letting us know. Should I tell you what's ironic and why I mention it, though? Because even then, it's someone else's gas you use for reaction you can't get on your own. Oh. Show us that you still matter, man. He can't set foot in Preston Sports Direct without getting mocked by 15-year-old crackheads in belly tops and a bunch of weird, jittery mental jobs who still remember when Preston Grime really teching off. <laughs> Do you remember, boss? Yeah, biz all remembers. Preston home of misplaced masculinity and the toughest lasses in Lancashire. Most super dry clothing in the world per capita. Imagine a place fit for human habitation. Well, it in Preston. When you tell them of the outside world with their bins and trimmed hedges, I bet it sure impressed them in Preston, but, but you know, I went there once. Must have been out of my mind. Used a free syllable word. Barely made it out alive. <laughs> but yeah, I use the big word, but I've seen your battles and you do too. If anyone in Preston ever figures out YouTube, that's you screw. Your mouth doesn't communicate smoothly with your brain. Your words are first time skydivers getting booted out of plane. You rap like you're reading bingo numbers as part of your community service. You rap like making battle rap less popular is your duty and purpose. <laughs> see, Bat Bizzo would love to see battle rap diminish and fade at a ridiculous rate, so the only people watching it are him and his mates. Hence these weird analogies about letting him slip through the gates, but it's Briggsy who pays when every Bizzo performance causes a dip in his wage, and it's very tragic. Guys that like you are not a profitable demographic. 
You get most of them in events with your extra passes. And they just drink your rider and rob several glasses. What a set of spanners. Time. <laughs> See, this relationship isn't what it used to be. I mean, it's next to sufferable. I understand why you gave him a chance. I mean, at first, they said, dude's wonderful. But after all the plates for days and a place to stay, it's really left you vulnerable. I mean, look what happens when you're too nice and let them get too comfortable. We needed vets to come back strong with a bang and re-announce their names. Give something back to all these fans who contributed to your founding fame. This scene has been left on its knees. We were homeless here without a stage and you just did the same old shit. Offered nothing, not a single ounce of change. I was in the crowd as a fan when you battled Eddie P and Frisco. I bet you never thought nine years would pass and you'd be getting beat to Bizzo. You went from UK champ to participant again. I mean, live your life the way you want to, but lost the belt and came crawling back, convinced this guy had braved a strong move. To me, it's more Duke of Sussex when Harry fled as the media hype became too obtuse. Trying to get to Canada now after you had your title taken off you? It's absurd, you know, how you still haven't been given a word to go when you just do the bare minimum needed like a burner phone admit it this the poorest that you've ever been for you to have a title is bordering on felony made a champion of the UK at a stage you're applauded when you're getting beat and that's the flaw cemented in the scene you don't offer more to them instead of me you're just rewarded for longevity and as a result for years now this league's been wasting good plates on you battle rap's equivalent of waking up late you're no longer someone they can trust mate it's not rocket science to know matters just taking up space I knew before we battled today that your fire had gone and you wouldn't excel I don't need to show them you don't matter anymore for years you've gone and done it yourself time London Jen here all one word three ends on my Jen um, judging Bizzo versus Matter first round from the two of them they were kind of doing a similar thing um, it's is it the the bars over jokes type clash um, Matt started off saying you're just a funny man oh, sorry Matt started off saying um, you don't appreciate jokes you can't you don't have a sense of humor basically uh, I didn't like all the goatee stuff um, I thought it was it, it just seemed a bit silly um, I liked the uh, DJ Bizzo mobile disco but the rest of the round was kind of flat to me I didn't like the lyrical fight like didn't do it for me Bizzo for me won that round quite early on just because his attack they were like i say attacking uh he's attacking matter style um sarcasm the lowest form of wit good performance from you can't happen without it um yeah i just thought he talked to him more effectively he attacked his opponent's style more effectively um second round was better from matter i like the sort of the superhero keeping comedy out of battle rap he did a funny accent in there. I wasn't sure what that was. Um, I like Bizzo's, um, what was it, like a sight reading uh, eye optical um, scheme, which kind of tied in nicely with the angle that he was doing. Brought in all of that sort of uh, Leeds crew stuff, that how do you let soldier walk away from battles and leave the veteran behind to go to war? Again, effective attacks. Again, the, the second round was a similar fight as the first, and for me, just Bizzo attacked his opponent more effectively um the third round um for me Mattersford kind of lacked conviction I did not believe that he believed in what he was saying he just seemed like oh, I'm just gonna get it out to me that's the way it came across the delivery just felt flat to me um liked Bizzo's third continual jabs just jab 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 in um similar angle um but for me there should have been like there should have been some it should have, i would have liked some harder punches there from bizzo i liked all of the setups i liked the rhyming but it just it was light jabby for me but um yeah gave every round to bizzo um yeah so bizzo 3 -0. what's up it's nugget rappers full subscribe though um on the building so you here um, yeah, I just watched Bizzo and Matter and I really enjoyed it. I thought both of them took really good approaches for each other. The angles that they took, I thought that um, Bizzo's whole kind of approach to Matter, breaking him down, kind of going at the kind of jokey style um, and the bars that he used, uh, he was very bar heavy, he was quite good. Um, but I thought kind of Matter counteracted that 
um, in the way that he mixed up the bars and the jokes and he kind of went at the serious nature of kind of calling someone out for jokes. So, yeah, he the way he went where it really paid off for him. Um, so, based on that, I would have gave Mar the first two rounds. It, I would have gave him the edge in those. I thought that Bizzo probably took the third. But overall, I'm going to say 2-1 Mar. So, yeah, shout out Premier Battles and, uh, yeah, sick, sick clash. Hello again, red flag back once more, this time to judge Bizzo versus Matter. And today I thought to put the phone on a solid surface, unlike the laptop I had on my couch yesterday. Sorry about that, I'm sure that was annoying. Uh, so let's get into this. This was a very dope battle. Uh, I love a style clash, this was definitely that. Uh, we have one guy being like, you're gonna be too serious in this battle, you take battle rap in general too seriously. And the other guy being like, you're gonna joke around in this battle. You joke around in general too much. Uh, and I'm usually drawn towards the more humorous approach there, but I actually thought that Matter sort of lost steam in this battle, whereas Bizzo just kept hammering home a consistent message with really cohesive material, just really sharply written. Um, and I think that won the day at the end. So I'll go through the battle and just uh, explain a little more why I have Bizzo taking this one 2-1. So, in the Matters first round, I love the DJ Bizzo's mobile disco. I love that he wants a lyrical fight. But I think that's kind of where Matter went wrong in this battle. To me, that whole, you take this all too seriously, you shouldn't be so against joking thing, got a little generic at times. We've heard that angle from other people. I think we've heard that angle from Matter himself at least once before. Um, and... For example, in Bizzo's first round, I just thought joke uh, lines like all jokes aside, your hopes would die and imagination barrier, assassinate your character. I mean, that first round is real close and I'm sure a lot of people have, uh, have it going to matter. But for me, uh, Bizzo's material was more cohesive, a little more impactful in that first, especially with how accurately, you know, he basically predicted the approach matter was going to take throughout. Now, Matter's second round, uh, this is a good example of the way it started. I, I really liked the more specific, kind of riskier approach of, what, you some kind of comedy lover? That was really funny to me. That's a good example of taking, you know, an angle that maybe we've heard before and making it more your own. But it uh, kind of didn't hear much of that after this round. You know, this I really loved the, you know, Not Impressed, Sausage Fest, Bobby Rex. But otherwise, you know, I've heard this angle before. I will say that Matter, I think, did enough in round two to edge that one out. Bizzo had a tiny stumble in that round. Matter had a really small one in the first round, too. Super close, though, again. I mean, if Bizzo hadn't closed on the, the fart bar, I probably would have given him the second round, too. But Matter took the second round to me. Uh, and then in that third round, Matter's Preston angle just didn't land for me. I mean, I know I'm not local, but... These jokes just seemed really uninspired. I mean, when he said, I'm sure that impressed him in Preston, I didn't even sound like I, he wanted to say that bar. It sounded like it was written last minute and, and it was corny, frankly. Um, that whole, that whole round was kind of dead to me. I know matters can be way funnier than that. Uh, and I think he let Bizzo run away with it there. Uh, I really liked Bizzo's third round. Um, bare minimum needed like a burner phone. Rewarded for longevity. I just thought that was a really cool way to sort of sum up what he was, the point he was trying to make there. And uh, I, I think maybe I've heard something similar, but the matters just taking up space is, is a slick way to close the battle too. Uh, this was real close. Again, reasonable minds can differ here. You could give matter the first round. You could give matter the second round. I don't think you can give him the third. To me, that was just dead, but this was a dope battle. Salute to both of them. Uh, man, it's been a good experience judging this tournament. Really impressed with all this shit. Thank y'all again for having me. Bizzo 2-1, red flag out. Uh, so yeah, I've given it 3 now to Bizzo. Uh, break it down real quick. Matter round one, uh, he had the DJ Bizzo on mobile disco a bit. That was quite funny. Uh, but Bizzo just right out, right out from right from the beginning. Just, um, Matter's making me, he had that one. He had the... Uh, put Joel Jokes aside, all your hopes will die. But absolutely crazy stuff. Uh, Matter, in the second round, he did the old comedy thing. Um, I don't think the comedy thing worked because I'm pretty sure he's in the exact same angle before. Um, like, I'm not a massive fan of one angle to take up a full round anyway, but I'm pretty sure he's in the exact anti joke round before. I can't remember who to, but I'm pretty sure he's done it. So, Bizzo won that one. Uh, third, Matter really didn't say anything that, for me, but Bizzo had the old uh, comeback to him in Tiger Woods. You had the uh, leads everywhere, got your whites crossed. 
And um, can't wait, they won't be getting another bar that we like as well. So, yeah, 3 0 for Bizzle. Please. Afternoon, people. This is uh, Paris, no loose chat here representing. I am judging the Mata versus Bizzo battle. I gave the battle to Bizzo um, simply because his bars hit harder, even though it was a lot more serious, didn't really have any jokes, and Mata was a lot more jokey. The jokes kind of got tired for me by the middle of the second round. But I did like the jokes are dead angle. Um, apart from that, decent battle. Looking forward to see what Bizzo brings in the next round. Blessings, Prem, thanks for having me. No loose chat.